need more people to vote. Show up early and vote. Now, with the presidential election right around the corner, there is a lot of anticipation leading up to November 8th. Janata Hendricks is our guest host for the MT10 Special Vote 2016, and she's here to talk about the roller coaster of events that has led us to this next Tuesday. Hi, Janata. How are you doing? Good. How are you? I'm doing great. Now, with this election, it's been a roller coaster, you know, from Hillary Clinton's emails to Donald Trump's Twitter account. And can you tell us some of the highlights from this election so far? Okay, this election has actually been going on for about a year now. So when you think back to the very beginning of how many people were actually on the Republican ticket, um, back to when everyone thought it was kind of a joke that, you know, Donald Trump was running because we know him as a celebrity, back to all the things that really happened in the beginning and also with social media being so prominent, everything was at the forefront. So. It's, I, it's kind of taken on a life of its own. It's kind of like political reality TV in a way. So it's been a lot. Right, and I feel like the election has been going on even longer just because all these things have emerged during that time. But the polls have been showing us that this election is going to be really close between the two candidates. So do you think that the candidates could do anything that will affect the way that the polls turn out on Tuesday at this point in the race? At this point, I really don't think there's much that can be done because when you think about it, there's like three groups of people at this point. People who are adamant about not voting for Donald Trump, adamant about not voting for Hillary Clinton. So they're either gonna vote for the other person or they're not gonna vote for either one of them. So a lot of people are going third party. A lot of people are opting not to vote at all. Everything's been laid out on the table. We know about all the scandals. We know about all the policies. We've seen the debates. People are just kind of accepting it for what it is. So I really don't see anything at this point that can be done to kind of change fate. Now, something that's been really stressed in this election, too, is the fact that millennials are playing a huge role in how this election is going to go. So what can you sort of tell us about the millennials' role in voting this year? Well, the millennial group is accepted to be ages 18 to 35. So, you know, it's a big group of people, but also, like, a lot of studies and surveys have been shown that millennials aren't they're kind of rejecting traditional two-party systems. You know, a lot of people are refusing, not everyone, a lot of people are refusing to identify with either party. A lot of people are actually calling themselves independents. So it's kind of like, what does that leave you? There's so much going on and, you know, a lot of people are, millennials in particular, are frustrated. They're thinking about going to third party. They're thinking about writing people in. And, you know, and when you think about when Bernie Sanders was in the race. He did a good job at mobilizing them, mainly because he spoke about things that are more relatable, like, you know, college, debt, things like that. You know, that's what he was speaking to them about. They're not really voting based off of immigration, things like that. So it's kind of just them kind of finding a place in this. You know, the other two candidates have mostly targeted older voters. So it's kind of like, where do they go? So. Exactly. Now, can you sort of tell us a little bit about Vote 2016 and yes. sort of promote that for us here? Okay, so Vote 2016 is going to be the MT10 News election coverage, obviously, on Tuesday night. Starts at 7, goes to about 9, starts up again at 10 to 10.30. This is going to be covering everything from, you know, districts, uh, local elections, of course, national. We're going to be breaking down, like, the projections and the way people voted and kind of seeing those demographics. You know, this is going to be a good time. Also, there's going to be segments, segments that are important, like, you know, police brutality or national security things of that nature. So they're going to be broken down. It's going to be open discussions, table panels, debates, things like that. So I would also encourage everyone, there's still time, you know, you still have time to go out and research different policies and things like that before you do make your vote. Because, you know, voting is really important and it's important to make your voice heard. So definitely go vote and definitely tune in to vote.